How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. In today's tutorial, Dave's going to be showing you a couple of ways in which Premiere Pro is tweaking the way that we do audio. Dave, the floor is yours. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys the new audio track mixer features in Premiere Pro 2021. There are a couple of good ones in there, so let's jump straight in. So the first feature we've got in the audio track mixer. If you can't see the audio track mixer window, what you want to do is first of all, go up to window. You want to come down to audio track mixer and click on your sequence. I've named my sequence audio stuff and you'll be, uh, you'll get this one right here. You want to come to this arrow right here, click on that and you'll see the effect slots where you can start putting effects in. So these effects right here would affect your track. So everything on track two, for example, where we're going to be concentrating would be affected by the effects I'm going to stick on those slots, unlike other times where you just stick an effect on a clip. Let's go up to these slots. What I'm going to do is show you the first feature. I'm just going to create a random signal chain right here. And the feature is that you can just simply copy and paste the signal chain across effects. Now, what you can do is before you'd have to press option and just drag the effect across. I mean, if you want to do that for one effect, you could do that. But now you can copy a whole signal chain and then paste it onto another track. The cool thing about this is it's not limited before you kind of limited to the tracks in that sequence. What you can do now is go to another sequence and then paste those track effects there. Also, what you can do is if you open up another Adobe Premiere Pro project that say you did an interview and you'd love, you love the signal chain you had there, you want that as a starting point, you can just open that project copy the track effects, and then paste them onto your current project. So that's a cool feature right there. Just simply copy paste feature, much desired. The next thing after this, I think I would like Adobe to do would be an option to save the presets. So you could just save a preset like we do on um, the effects options on the clips. So that'd be great to see on the track mixer. So that is one other thing I think I'd like to see, make life easier. So guys, I've been editing for 15 years and I'll be the first to say that I do use templates like the ones here to save some time. Millions of video creators like you and me do this, but unfortunately it can get really expensive, especially when you're talking about $50 for a one-off license. Now guys, from video editor to video editor, what if I told you I could get you access to unlimited downloads and usage of a massive library of quality digital products that can be used in personal and commercial projects and it would only cost you $9. I'm talking about title packs, transition packs, effects packs, motion graphics packs, stock footage, social media packs, lower thirds packs, basically any digital product you could ever dream of having. Sounds great, right? Well, with this special offer to the Envato Elements Library, you can get complete access for only $9. Click on the link in the description to take advantage of this deal. Now let's get back to the video. The second feature we've got is this option right here is the pre-fader and post-fader mode. That simply means that we can put the effect before the fader or after the fader. Now, the fader being this right here, and what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna make sure that the keyframes I can see, the automation I'm gonna set is for the volume fader. What we're used to seeing here is a clip gain, but I want to see the volume fader so we can go through this example. First, I'm going to show you, the only scenario I can see us using this would be for any kind of reverb. Anything else I'd probably keep as it is, so just drag it in if it's compression or EQ, I'd probably just drag in and not worry about this new feature. But for like little reverbs and stuff like that, I'll show you the scenario I'd probably use it in. I'm going to come down and use one of my favorite reverbs. It's the Black Hole by Eventide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the mix a bit. So this is what it sounds like. Rigs where you're able to actually, not only does the camera move on a motorized uh, dolly, but you can live. Okay, so. That's what it sounds like. What I'm gonna do here is I am going to create some keyframes for the fader. So these keyframes are gonna affect this fader right here. So the effect is in pre-fader mode. So the effect is going before the fader. So listen to this. Rigs where you're able to actually 
not only does the camera move on a motorized uh, dolly, but you can literally... So in pre-fader mode, as the volume of his voice goes down, so does a reverb. Now I'm going to change this into post-fader, which means the effect will go after the fader, which means it wouldn't be affected by where the fader is. So I'll play that again. Rigs where you're able to actually, not only does the camera move on a motorized uh, dolly, but you can literally... So what you can see there is the effect keeps going. It doesn't reduce in volume. It keeps going unaffected by the fader. So that's how we can use pre-fader and post-fader. I can see this working if you want to create a reverb tail at the end of your videos. So that would be a great option. So what you want to do is make sure it's in post-fader mode. What you can also do is come in here and get the keyframes for that effect you've got. For example, here I've got slot one. I've got the black hole. You can start messing about and changing some of these effect parameters and you know just getting a bit more surgical with it all. So that's an option as well. So those are the two new audio track mixer features. I think they're great, especially the copy paste feature that's gonna save me loads of time. Hopefully the save preset option is in the works and not too far off, cause that's gonna be killer. That's gonna be great when it comes out. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Until next time, peace.